Bring them in. Did you hear that <laughs> shit? <laughs> so mad. Yeah. Don't be mad. He just – he's just jealous. I have to be <laughs> nice to him because what I feel I bad for him nowadays. What am I jealous of? Every, every single brewer guest we have brought on here has done nothing but shred Rowdy. Every single one of them. <laughs> Everybody Jealousy. needs one of those in the clubhouse, and that's fine. Bad hairline, I mean, bad body. But I show up every day, so everybody needs one of those in the clubhouse. It's except for when your teams. finger, ex- except for when your finger hurts, then you can't show up. Then you take two weeks <laughs> off. They still talk shit for me for that too. It's it's good. AJ I'm, I'm happy you, to be here. Yeah, he did. That's why he put that <laughs> silver slugger in the back. Must have been a shitty year for catchers that year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me know when you get. Kip, you got one of them? Does Kip have a no, silver dude, slugger? No, they don't hand those out to scrubs anymore nope. like they did back then. Uh, <laughs> hey, you're hitting ninth, dude. I'd be real quiet over there. Oh shit! Hey, there's one spot in my big league career I've never hit. And that's ninth. Hit all the other. You didn't ones. hit ninth. Lot. Where'd you? You're hitting eighth, right? When? Didn't you hit eighth lot last two nights ago? At home. No. At home, you were hitting no, ninth. I've... Maybe a pinch hit at bat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a ninth hitter. Yeah, well, you were that, the that, second that best count. nine hitter they had. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably true hey that's can, true. can you look can you just show me the flags i want to know which way the wind's blowing it's wrigley it's blown out you still can hit homers here it's blowing in isn't it no it's during the day dude night it blows in yeah oh, it'll perfect. change it'll change by night i'm just making sure All right, so yeah. what's going on what's going on here um specifically on offense you guys are putting up big ass crooked numbers Anything going on different? I mean, I don't I don't need like, oh, our approach, blah, blah, blah. Like anything going on in the clubhouse? Like, okay, I'll give you an example. We had Mike Ford on the other day and we're like, what, what's gotten into Julio? And he was like, dude's crushing Chick-fil-A every morning now. And he's like, notice how Sunday he wasn't good, but all the rest of the days he was? I'm like, that's the insight I need. Um, dude, I don't know. I just show up. <laughs> <laughs> I just- I'm just kind of – I'm like the opposite. If you need me on Sunday, I'll, I'll be open. But, we, you know, I don't know. Dude, I honestly don't know because everybody talks shit about our offense. But I guess we can hit. You know, Why do they Yelly talk shit about it? With, I don't know. Yelly just – yesterday goes, man, I just filleted that ball 14 rows deep into left center. So, it was a good start to the game that day. But I just think um, – fuck off. Do we just hit? There's no – I don't know. Why can't I give you a professional answer? I don't, I don't like them. I don't know. They're bored. Bo- All right, you can. Okay, give us your professional answer. We work hard and we keep our nose down and we don't. Uh, we take unselfish at bats. There you go. Just put the ball in play. But doesn't everybody try to do that in the big leagues? No. I try and hit a home run every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most work, honest answer but... he's ever given us. <laughs> it doesn't work, but it, occasionally. That's baseball. Some day, hey, what do you change? Fuck if I know nothing. It just started working. Yeah. Sometimes shit yeah, works. Dude, some, days I, some days I show up, my uniform fits a little tighter than others, and <laughs> waddle on out there, and hopefully don't miss a ball, and maybe I'll roll over a couple into the hole. No more shifts. So I'm in a good spot. Hey, are you guys getting was... McDonald's in, in Wrigley still? Uh, no, I eat salads. Um, <laughs> but, no, we don't. We do send the guys over to get coffee. But, no, we don't. We never had that. No, no, Never the times I've played here we've ever had McDonald's. Really? That was, like, the best part. Do you, do you have day it's games? Do they still bring the, uh, the Swedish pancakes and that whole breakfast yeah. buffet they have? They do that still. Those are – right. Those are deadly. No, we have high performance now, you know, like we got to semi eat clean. So, no, sucks. you don't. I didn't say I did. I said we. <laughs> yeah. <The> team sport. <laughs> <laughs> the team ate six pancakes this morning. Yeah, the team ate six pancakes. Number 11 on the team ate six pancakes. Do you, I, I mean, I know that's not true because Grandy sent over some of his stuff. Did you guys, did anybody go and buy some of the cake pops and like all the stuff that Granderson's bakery made? Did you do that this series? 
I haven't seen any of that. You haven't seen that? He sent it over early no. in the year. He told me. He told me. I think Burnsy went there and got some. Oh, then I didn't. You didn't get I any absolutely of it. Did not. Well, no. then you need to go to. You need to go to Kip. Kip's on the show here. You need to go to Kip's restaurant while you're in Chicago. Not, not open. Not, not open. Not open. Your Don't old coach. Your old coach is just walking by right here. Oh God, Murph. Roddy, yeah, Roddy, I know it. Roddy. Yeah. Who are you talking? To? Kipness. Kip. Yeah, he had nothing good to say about you, which is a shocker because <laughs> I have a lot of good things to say about you. Hey, listen, listen. what? How are you connected with Kip? He's on the show right now. He's on what? Show? Murph's been on the show. On territory. Murph, you've been on the show. I don't remember that far back. God. Kip tagged me with the ball one time, and we became friends instantly. He tagged you. With the ball? Yeah. It was a nice tag. Is it a rundown? No, I don't think <laughs> it's a rundown. I don't want to. I was going to say. Yeah, rundown, no. I wouldn't really be sure. No. He played second base for the Indians. Guardians. Indians then, though. I can Who say that. He made him a second baseman. Yeah. Ask him. Ask him. He said, he, Murph said he made you a second baseman. I suggested No, he didn't. He suggested it for, like, one practice. That's he got he lucky said, with that one. He got way worse. He got Yeah, he, yeah, got he said he suggested it, and, and you were like, eh. But you raked, so. But he then was I had throwing shit at the wall. Worse. He was throwing shit at the wall in one shot. Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> Murph with a good idea? Probably not. Good guy. That hey, makes me Rowdy, laugh. the boys are 8 no, 8 no since you came off the IL. Are you the straw that stirs the drink? You're like Reggie Jackson? Um, You can, you can say that. I kind of <laughs> – well, I think – I think we have more than eight in a row, but since I came up, yeah, we won one in Texas before I got there. Um, you know, but I really just think well, after the rehab assignment, they needed, it was really quiet. They said in the clubhouse and everybody was doing nice handshake stuff and saying good morning. And then I showed up and they just yeah. started crushing me again. So I think it really got the guys going then. I'm You're strong like, enough to handle you know, it. You, have, you know, when you have a stress ball, and then you get really mad because stress takes over and you throw it at the wall. That's kind of me. You're the brewer yeah. stress ball? Yeah. They, dude, if they are in, if they need anger, let it out. I'm sitting right there. My locker doesn't change. I'm, just, I'm always there. So they just let me have it. And I kind of just, you know, I, I always said, like, if I as much shit as I give out, I got to be able to handle it. So, you know, like, it's just it's fun. Come on, I just you can't take it too serious. It's really long, season's long, game's hard. Start taking it serious, end up with no hair. So it's just it's tough, but I like it. It's fun. All right, so Roddy, I want you to take your anger out on if you'd like on what you saw yesterday, probably on your phone after the game when Ronald Acuna Jr. had some friends that you didn't really like because you have fan interactions all the time coming up to him, hugging him being super fucking weird for grown men and then flailing their arms when they were getting taken away. Can we get your breakdown of the shit that went down in Colorado? I actually didn't see that till this morning. Um, I don't have social media, so I was going through the ESPN app to just kill time because I don't like to leave. And I saw this, this exact video. And then it made me think about yesterday, they held the bus for me for like one minute. And I was like, kind of like, power walking out and the security guard was like walking next to me but he wasn't like he didn't have any sort of credentials and i kind of looked at him and i was like hey man what's up and he goes nothing i'm your security i'm just walking you out i was like oh cool and he was like yeah you know fans can get crazy and i was like yeah if i ever saw a fan like track me down i might just punch him in the face and he was like yeah well did you see the acuna thing and i just was like no and i thought didn't know that it just happened and if i was him i would have punched him i really would I don't think you can get in trouble for that. If they're no. on the field, that's like when, you, I, when you step in the ring. Like, you got to be able to handle it. Keep your guard up. Yeah. Wait, you were late for the bus? You made the whole team wait for the bus? No, I made it on time. Did you not hear the, like, power walking sprint thing? You said you were late by one minute. You said you were late the door up and fucking take off. There's a one minute, but I was on the bus at, like, 10 10. There's a grace period. Um, yeah, dude. Who are you yelling at me for? I'm not. I'm just saying if you were late, I would have had him close the fucking door, 
slammed it right in your face as you went to get on and then just get the slow pull away. And you had to... <laughs> hey. Ignore well, him. The game's, changed. the game's changed, man. We got a lot of good teammates here. I know you wouldn't know much about it, but we got a lot of good guys here. AJ needs a stress ball. Yeah, fuck. That's all they want me on the show for, to take care of AJ and for him to let him feel better about himself. <laughs> kind of like a babysitter, like a like a glorified yeah. babysitter for yeah. 15 minutes every few weeks. Yeah, every couple weeks. Hey, did any catcher, since I, Krauts and I were catchers, and I know Krauts would never do this, did any catcher ever talk shit to you when you came up to the plate? Kratz. <laughs> I well, Kratz is always a really good dude. It's really well known in baseball, and I would always come up and say, "Hey, how you doing? How are the kids?" One day he just told me to shut up and play ball or something like that, and I was like, "Oh, okay." Kind of caught me Eric. off guard. Didn't know what to do. What? Um, but Eric. Then, but then I was Apologize. like, you know, maybe he's going through a rough day. Diapers are full or something. I'll give him the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. But um, talk actual shit. No, yeah. but there's a couple of guys that, like, would hold the ball too long, like, on, on a frame and then, like, co- constantly asking for pitches. And I'm just like, dude, shut up. It's a ball. Maybe hitting 207, but it's a ball. Like, I know that. I haven't, had, I haven't had many, like, altercations. I'm not really a hateable person, you know. Does anybody take your personality the wrong way if they don't know you, where you make a line, like, you know, hey, Bruce Harper kind of line to a, another player where you call him another name or something, and he's like, dude, that's not my name. Um, who was it? Actually, I was in – I this is kind of funny because then I ended up playing with him with Team Mexico. Jaron Duran. Uh, he hit a ground ball, like smoked a rocket. Second base made a good play. Didn't turn two, so he's on first base. And he's like, just motherfucking the world. Mad, it's hitting like 390, and I was like, "No, oh, dude, tough day at the yard, huh?" Yeah, and he gets the first, and I'm like, "Keep swinging, bro. That was a rocket." And he looks at me and doesn't say a word. He's like, "Whatever," and I was like, "All right, dude." <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, fast forward, we we get to we get to uh, Team Mexico, and I tell him about it, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I was just mad. I was in AAA, you know, you know how that is." And I was like, "Yeah, like, it stinks. I spent three years in AAA, so like." I think it does. It does stink. And Verdugo goes, dude, you can't just say you're in AAA. And he was like, well, I was in the bushes. And Verdugo goes, you can't just say it in the bushes when you have 40 at-bats in the big leagues. You're still in the bushes. And so then we just started calling him Bushes, the whole <laughs> Team Mexico. That was the only English we spoke, you know, because we're all fluent. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was his new nickname. I didn't know that That either. didn't carry over it to Boston. Now. Or maybe it did. Yeah. Verdugo's there with him. He's a big workout guy. Huge. Loves to look at himself in the mirror. Durant? I've never seen a guy. Uh, this guy, like, stands in the mirror all day. Dries off for 40 minutes. <laughs> Driest guy in the league. Yeah. <laughs> Is he the guy that goes in front of the mirror? We all play, we all have this one guy on every team. They go there, and they're, like, with their shirt, and they're, like, okay. And they're pulling it out, so it's tucked. Like, Freddie Freeman was a big – Freddie Freeman was a big, like – No wrinkles? Shirt, no, it has to be like perfectly untucked over the belt, and like the pants have to be perfectly like every team has that guy that stands in the mirror and is like, they'll stand there for like ten minutes and be like, okay, I'm yeah. Good now. But nowadays everybody wears super tight uniforms, so like, I don't you know don't? how much you can untuck it. Like people want to make it look tighter. You don't wear super tight. No, man, it's not good when you. It's not a good look. Do it one day. You ever filled up a bag full of water? Just starts flowing over. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave it. Yeah, you don't do it. It's just not it. So I just I stick with the you know Manny Ramirez baggy uni. I may make it look slim fit, but it's not intentional. <laughs> hey, Rowdy, I want to take you way back to your minor league days, like a week and a half ago. Didn't you have a walk off? I did. That was my first ever walk-off home run, ever. Wow. Ever. Yeah. Any level. Any age? Any any level, any age. First walk-off homer. Congrats. That's Damn. awesome. Were you Did legit you pumped? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, I'm just trying to help everybody win. I was trying to get back. They're trying to win. So it was, it was fun. It was a good moment. That's a good group of guys, you know, like very, very close-knit. The, the staff down there is awesome. Um, 
you know, Jeremy Ricardo is our pitching coach who he said, AJ, didn't you get traded with him or for him? He was in that trade? No, no. He wasn't that good. I played, uh, <laughs> I played with him. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. With the Jays. Yeah, he's a, he's yeah. a good dude. He's, so I really liked him. I thought AJ was in a trade with him. but I like Jeremy Ricardo, though. He's a good dude. He's yeah. not rowdy. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure he was in a trade for you. But anywho. I think uh, I would remember. I was <laughs> traded once in my life. And it and wasn't him. That's what he said. That's, yeah, because yeah, they didn't want you at all. But hey, I was only tra- I was, was traded for three. It was a good three group of guys. I don't know what you're saying, dude. I don't care what you're saying. I'm trying to tell, like, about <laughs> my time. It's my time. Uh, but it was fun. So it was fun to be at the end of – at the home plate and – just like feel good about doing something positive. I'm looking up. Uh, I want to see the transactions now for Jeremy Ricardo. Now he he's got me interested me. here. I promise you that. No. Wait, who did I you mean... hit the home run off that walked walked got walked off? Or you walked off? Who? Who? I don't know. But he was kind of dumb. He threw a slider after he just blew two sinkers right by me. He's probably was Dude. he released right after the game? <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> 